It's uh, February 27, 2023. <clears throat> There's a quick um, video full of truth about the times and seasons and what to do. So recently, recently we were on a trip, you know, I don't know. Anyway, look, out of town for five, six days and um, in a whole entire different area. But anyway, here in America, but this video applies to whatever, Canada, uh, also or New Zealand, Australia, Europe. Uh, <clears throat> but anyway, right now for America, but this is important. This is what I, I've, I've, I've known this. I was only reminded of something I've heard from the Lord anyway for a few years now, but um, it was even more evident on this trip in different areas and interacting with people at stores or restaurants and hotels and uh, but but anyway or just you seeing people in traffic or driving and, and just and so and I've noticed this of course getting worse over the last 30 years but um, being back in America in the last probably uh, eight years I've noticed it here anyway, I can look at it every day in America and see people getting worse, more evil, ungodly, more like the devil, more like uh, the beasts, as it says, ungodly. Uh, I'm thinking, you know, like Second Timothy 3, um, lovers of self, um, evil, fierce, unloving, uh, selfish, uh, just, just, just mean, wicked, selfish, um, inhumane, um, like, like acting like devils and beasts. Not patient, not kind, not responsible, not, uh, you know, people driving so evil and crazy. That means they're only thinking about themselves. Uh, I was we're going down that L.A. freeway down there and these people driving in the rain and they, uh, still going 90 miles an hour. He's swerving in and out. So that stupid, whoever it was, stupid, idiot, fool, is only thinking about themselves, that they got to get to their thing. They're not having any responsibility. They're not loving the neighbor as themselves. They're not being a responsible citizen thinking that they can endanger some innocent people and then at, at a store there was this evil girl that worked there just looked like a snake in her face and eyes at this store down there in um, LA area and um, had no consideration or kindness or humility just wicked and evil I'm like you witch you piece of crap devil and I rebuked and judged and and called a curse on that store like Elisha did on those boys that disrespected him and a bear came out and killed him and ate him so ripped him up and uh, Jesus cursed the fig tree and um, Jesus even told his own people in Revelation 2 and 3 if you don't do right I'll curse you I'll take away your candlestick that means he'll I think that means he's gonna kill you but he did say here but anyway I'm just saying so you got to get things right. Prepare the way of the Lord. The ministry, God's purpose of Elijah through different, you know, to this day, he did it through Elijah, John the Baptist. Jesus was, was moving in that, which is preparing the way. Commanded people to repent, do right. Uh, Malachi talk, uh, talks about it, Malachi. And then Paul was doing it. It's just what you got to do. Prepare people. God can't come to them unless they humble themselves and start doing right, confessing, repenting, humbly themselves and doing right and change and repenting then God can save them and allow them these things and so you got to do that you got to rebuke the wicked you got to re re rebuke them tell them they're wrong and don't back down you tell them they're wrong and see if God allows them to repent or not but anyway these people are getting so evil plus the stuff you either see it or you see on the news and whatever, if they don't change, you'll see God throughout, you know, the Bible and, and history and whatever, he will use an evil nation to, to kind of be a tool of his judgment and wrath. And so for America, God would use probably China as some sort of, you know, attack or discipline or the UN or, or uh, Islamic stuff, whatever. You see the the Muslim influence going there into um, Western Europe, judging the wicked nations. Now, I don't know how 
big that'll be, but throughout history, nations that backslided from God and did very wicked were taken over in the Middle East by the Muslim, uh, you know, ideology. And to this day, they're, they're held by that. Those, all the Middle Eastern nations once upon a time were Christian, or they had a big Christian uh, witness and great influence, but when they kept backsliding continuously, backsliding long enough, 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 they were given over into the, that's, that's a judgment. Um, and you see it right now in Western Europe and um, the f influx that the UN is a tool of hell and the globalists are bringing, you know, millions of Muslims in there to, 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 to cause trouble and it's a judgment over there. And so w with America, if there's not a, a repenting and a humbling and doing right, you know, it's, God doesn't require 100%. Him and Abraham were negotiating around. God says, yeah, if there's enough, I won't judge it. I won't destroy it. But he didn't say I want 100%. He says that there's just enough. All right? And so if there's enough in America of repenting and doing right, God can withhold this type of judgment of whatever it might look like. I think it'll come through China, military, whatever course could be unfortunately weapons of you know EMPs or nuclear or bio weapons and pfft, you don't want that stuff chemical stuff they're already using bio weapons but um you don't want that to happen but but these evil wicked people that's all they'll understand you know I've lived in Muslim countries for years and years and years Muslim countries um, um, Buddhist countries a little bit um, Hindu countries and they're very severe with their law enforcement, although they're very corrupt, but, but you know, you do wrong, you get your hand cut off. You do wrong, you get caned and beaten and whipped. You do wrong, they'll cut your eye out. Uh, and on certain things, they just death penalty. And Singapore is death penalty, real strict. They don't mess around. They cane you, they beat you, and um, they don't play around. And so for these evil, wicked people, that's all they'll understand. That's all they understand. When the Christian church in America has not mostly, mostly, most, most, for the most part, have not done the right job, what the Bible says, and the heart of God and the Holy Ghost would tell you to do, because of not only, not only cessationists, but these ungodly, anti-Christ, anti-truth, uh, false doctrines that water the Bible down and wa try to water down uh, even the, the, the very nature of God and his will and plans. To, oh, it's nice. It's okay. Oh, yeah, don't let me offend you. Oh, yeah, you're fine. It's, it's saying peace, peace when there is no peace to people. And that's a false prophet. And that's demonic. Not telling people to repent. Not telling them when they're wrong. Just say, oh, yeah, we just love you. We just love. That, that's, that's fake. That's not right. God is love. And God disciplines and rebukes and scourges and chastens and, 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 and killeth and maketh alive. He rebukes severely. He judges. He's a God of war and he never changes. And God disciplines, he gets a whip, and he kicks over the tables and whips the evil people and kicks them out of the temple. And over there in Revelation 2 and 3, he killed the evil people messing with Jezebel and smacks Jezebel there and, the, and all that mess. And you got to wake up and be real. And if people won't change, you tell them they're wrong, bam, strong, strongly, you stand there and you say, it's wrong. You repent, you get right. You're messing up our country. What are you leaving for next generation? You make, make this place more wicked for the children and when they're growing up, the children, next generations, that's what you got to stand up for. You got to make it right and clean and good. That's what you, you, you know, you owe it to do so as a true Christian, responsible, proper person, man or woman, you do right and you change it. And you, if the people resist, then you, you, that allows God to come in there and judge them because they've received the word first and if they don't do it, Boom! And that's the way it's going to change. That's how it works. Look at the Bible. But these Rockefeller and these funded this watering down and deceiving a lot of Christian doctrine in America and Europe and Canada, Australia, all that. To just say, oh, it's nice, it's fine, and da, 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 all that, you know, not be involved in government and all this stuff. And that's got to change. You better take over. Take over. Israel took over that land and now they protect it. And they run their own proper nation, and they enforce it with lethal, lethal force. And so you better get right. 
But I tell you what, if, if, if these evil, wicked, devil, beast people can, 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 it, it continues to get more and more and more here, I, I, I'm, it's a fearful, horrible, foreboding thing to think of the type of judgment the Chinese army comes in here or uh, Muslim influence and then they come in with Sharia and they start whacking these evil, wicked people because that's all they understand, to cleanse the place. And when it's cleansed enough and there's enough repentance, God himself will kill and destroy and judge uh, the Chinese army or, or the UN or Muslim armies or what, whatever, what type of thing. God, because he, he used the Chaldeans and the Babylonians to do things and the Egyptians at one time and another to discipline Israel. But after they were his tool for a while, he killed them. And that's the way it always is. You better watch it. But pray for America. And you be, you be a part of saving America. You get full of God and the Holy Ghost of fire, truth, cur courage, love, and truth. And go out there and be a witness of Jesus. And go out there uh, with his power, signs and wonders. Preach the gospel. Make mm, disciple people. Cast out devils. Heal the sick. Transform people. Make it right so God can save America. This is the best teaching preaching you've ever heard. Look at calledbeyond.com. Look at our web website, calledbeyond.com, calledbeyond.com. Become a partner. Send tithe and offering. Help us do more. God will bless you.